we are putting storyboards together today. Um, we're doing an ad for a wool shop, Dorlands. We were up there yesterday. We took some photographs and a video here. Slide shots of the wool. Don't forget the wool tree. Slide <coughs> shots of the wool. Here. Chasing Katie around the table. <laughs> so yeah, we were just doing little bits, bits and bobs up there. Um, I've taken the photographs and I've turned them into a storyboard. Now this is the first storyboard I've ever done. So I'm not sure if this is how it's done, but I'm doing it the way I want to do it. Hello. Hello. We have a cat. We have a curious little cat. Come here. Hello. Come here. Oh God. It's Wayne. Say hi Wayne. Hi Wayne. Okay, I'm busy, so do you mind? Hey, can I get back to it please? Is that okay with you? Okay, go. So storyboarding up. Once these are done, I will uh, show you. Storyboards are usually used in films. The director sits down with the artist and together they'll draw each shot that the camera sees. This gives the director an idea of how the shots will look when filming begins. They'll also make notes of anything the director or film crew need to be aware of like actor positions and lighting, as well as instructions on how the camera should move during each shot. But my problem is I can't draw and I didn't have time to go looking for an artist. I did have a camera though, so I thought well, why not use photographs instead of drawings? It's more or less the same thing, isn't it? Of course it is. All I had to do was work out the shots I wanted in my head and wander through the shop taking photographs of everything I wanted to film. Work perfectly. I printed the photos out on some 4x6 photo paper, fluttered my eyelashes at Michaela and <clears throat> borrowed a couple of sheets of her A3R card. Thank you, Michaela. I sequenced the photographs into the order I wanted and stuck them to the card, sectioned it off and wrote my camera movements, notes and reminders off to the side. Dead easy. That's literally all I did. Nothing else. Camera, printer, card, glue, done. Now I've got a really useful reference tool I can use when I'm filming the ad, as well as being able to show the folks at Dolan's more or less exactly how each shot will look. There we go. All done. I did a floor map as well. Obviously I'm not going to show that. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Happy days. I'll show you a little bit of the floor map. It's got all the. I'm sorry about the drilling. It's got the all the camera moves and stuff on. You know, I'm not going to show. I won't. I, I, I don't want to show you it all. Um, so we'll keep that. But yeah, it's got the camera movements and all a little bit of the floor plan for the for the shop. Just a. Uh, just adds to it, doesn't it? Then they can see where in the shop that, you know, the shots are taking place. Happy days, happy with that. See you later. Hey!